بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈی اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم یو آر واچنگ میتھ ود یاسر عرفات ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ڈیریویشن فنڈامنٹل لا آف ٹریگنومیٹری دیٹ از کاس الفا مائنس بیٹا اٹ از ایکوس ٹو کاس الفا کاس بیٹا پلس سائن الفا سائن بیٹا دس لا از کالڈ فنڈامنٹل لا آف ٹریگنومیٹری Here we have to consider a circle, a unit circle center at a region. Unit circle means the radius of this circle is 0 or 1, sorry. So this is the unit circle. So we are going to consider a unit circle here, its center is at a region. Now we are going to consider three terminal arms, one is A, the another one is B and the third one is C. So A, B, C, these are the three terminal arms here. Now if we have to consider this is A, so the angle of alpha with the terminal arm A is alpha and with the terminal arm B is beta. So this is alpha and this is beta. So the angle of A, O, B, this angle. So alpha minus beta will be this angle here. This is the whole alpha and this is the whole beta. So when we have to subtract alpha minus beta, so this will be A O B that is alpha minus beta. And here this is alpha beta, so alpha minus beta will be C O D. This will be the angle alpha minus beta. Now we have to, uh, as I told you, we have to consider a circle center at region. It is the unit circle. And we have to consider the uh, angles alpha, beta with the terminal arms A, B respectively. And here the angle A, O, B is alpha minus beta. Now we have to join A, B and C, D. So this become two triangles A, O, B. This is the triangle A, O, B. And this is the triangle COD. These two triangles are here. Here the coordinates of A will be with the terminal arm. We have to consider the angle with the terminal arm. And the terminal arm is AOA and which is angle is alpha. So this will be cos alpha sin alpha. Similarly, if we have to consider the coordinates of B here, so the coordinates of B with the terminal angle beta, it will be cos beta sin beta. Now you have to focus on the coordinates of C here. So the coordinates of C, the terminal side is OC and with the angle is alpha minus beta. So this will be cos alpha minus beta and sin alpha minus beta. So this circle is unit circle, its radius is 1. So that means OD is the radius, so it will be 1. So the coordinates of D will be 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0 on x axis the coordinate of x is 1 and y component is 0. So this is the coordinates of A, B, C and D here. Again we have to explain this point again here. We are going to consider a unit circle here. Unit circle means the radius is 1, center at region and we have to discuss the how we have to find out the coordinates A, B and C and D. Now here two triangles are here. A, O, B and C, O, D. These are two concurrent triangles because O, A it is equals to uh, O, B equals to O, D equals to O, C and the A, O, B alpha minus beta and C O D alpha minus beta. So two angles are equal and two sides are equal. So this triangle will be concurrent to each other. So when two triangles are concurrent to each other, so their remaining side will be concurrent. So this is A B will be equal to C D. Again listen dear students, this is C O D and A O B the triangle here. So here A O O D O B OC will be equal and the alpha minus beta, alpha minus beta, AOB and COD angles are equal. So therefore AOB triangle and COD triangle are concurrent, two sides and one angle is equal. So the remaining side will be equal, so therefore we are able to say that AB will be equal to CD. 
Now we are going to consider A, O, B and C, O, D and we have discussed that this is the uh, concrete triangle side two sides and one angle is equal. So A, B it is equal to C, D. Now we have to use the distance formula to find out A, B first and then C, D. So using distance formula the coordinates of A is cos alpha sin alpha and the coordinates of B is cos beta sin beta and we have to use the distance formula between A and B. So this is x2 minus x1 to the whole square plus y2 minus y1 to the whole square in the radical. So x component so minus will x and y subtracted from the y here. So this is cos alpha minus cos beta plus sin alpha minus sin beta to the whole square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square just we have to apply the a minus b to the whole square formula. So here cos square alpha sin square alpha it is equal to 1 cos square beta sin square beta it is equal to 1. So this is 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos alpha cos beta minus 2 sin alpha sin beta. So this will be 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the value of AB that is 2 minus 2 cos alpha cos beta minus 2 sin alpha sin beta. Now we have to find out the distance using distance formula CD. Now the coordinates of C are cos alpha minus beta and sin alpha minus beta and the coordinates of D is 1 comma 0 and again we have to apply the distance formula on CD. So this is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 to the whole square. So this is x minus 1 to the whole square plus y minus 0 to the whole square. a minus b to the whole square. So this is a square minus 2ab plus b square and this is just sin square alpha minus beta. So this is cos square alpha minus beta and sin square alpha minus beta. So we have to separate this because it will be equals to 1. So sin square plus cos square with the same angle it is equals to 1 minus 2 cos alpha minus beta and plus 1 remains same. So this plus 1 plus 1 it will be equals to plus 2. So this is the CD. Now AB it is equals to CD. So the value of AB which we have to find out there and this is the value of CD taking square on both sides. So we will be cancel out radical. So this 2 will cancel out to this 2. Just take out minus 2 common here. So minus 2 will cancel out with minus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta equals to cos alpha minus beta or cos alpha minus beta it is equals to cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. This is called fundamental law of trigonometry. This is a very important derivation which we have discussed with you dear students. If you like this video please share it, share it and subscribe my channel Math with Yasser Arfad. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.